asking. Hi, Chris Frangiola. Hi. I'm going to promote myself. Tempe Improv, February 4th and 5th. One show Febu- February 4th, two on Saturday. Tempe Improv, selling very well. Better get your tickets, heathermcdonald.net, and then at the Brea Improv, March 25th, 26th, and a live Juicy Scoop with this one and many more on the 27th. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. I have your favorite here, Chris Frangiola, my uh, platonic cis, cis male. Cis, cis male. Cis male. Yeah. Um, this is the page. As of hot podcast on Just Like That, I'm the cis female. You're the cis male. Right. We've never made out. No. But we're friends on a podcast. Yeah, yeah. And welcome to Juicy Scoop. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's good to be back. I'm excited. I told you before we went to air that I'm very nervous coming on this podcast yes, now why? because I feel like it's all about my looks. I feel like a lot of comments are about <sighs> my looks. Because the YouTube is taking off. Yeah, and YouTube is taking <laughs> off. <laughs> and even so, so, so much so that last time I was on, some people had mentioned that it looked like I had some sort of bulge coming out of my neck and I should get it checked. First of all, I'm looking at you. You absolutely don't have any bulge. Well, I know. There's some what sort of happened shadow. Is, here's the thing. We are always trying to improve Juicy Scoop. Yeah. I come from the philosophy of is if it's not broke, don't fix it. Right. Peter is of the philosophy of it's everything's going great. Let me buy some other cameras and then and lighting and fuck it up. I yeah. don't know. Not that it's, but it's like some people might say I look better now. Some people might say I look better four weeks ago. I think maybe that bulge was a result of playing with some different lighting, I and think there must it was. have been a shadow. So it looked like it had some that sort of growth. created a fucking elephant man situation. <laughs> But you know, there's, there's been a few incidents of people spotting something on television, people. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, it turns out there was something. There's a few, right. there's a few yeah. things happened. Oh, yeah. And I think people thought maybe I had some sort of growth that needed to be checked. But it's not. Look, I'm, f- I'm fine. I think my neck, I mean, listen, it's an old neck. It's the best I could do. But it's not bulging. Right. Well, speaking of, I'm going to skip ahead to one little thing here. Speaking of um, that, with Fair Abraham, I talked about her recently. Yeah. Supposedly selling her poos. <laughs> and I said, wouldn't it be beautiful if someone who bought who bought the poo was actually someone that ran poo through a lab right. and then discovered that she had some type of disease. Oh, they And know. had she never sold her poo to a perv who also works with poo, yeah. she wouldn't know. But that's not what happened to Farah. Farah went out for a fun night out. This was last week, but I just wanted to cover it with you. Anyway, she got in a lot of trouble. I saw. She threw a fit. Full, like, knocked, like, held down on the street. Like they were handcuffing her out right. of the Right. And then she first posted it to think that people would be like, what? But the guy was handling it so well. Right. I mean, if you're hitting and wailing people and they're waiting for the cops to come. Yeah. He had her on her stomach and he was like, please stop. Please. And she's like, ah. And then he's like, I want to let you back up. They, uh-huh. This part she didn't show, but the TMZ part. I want to let you back up. You got to promise like you're not going to be hitting people like. Yeah. And I'm going to help you up. And anyway, I guess she was, you know, and then a juicy scoop wrote me and said her brother happened to be at the nightclub and he didn't know who she was, but she went and grabbed his, uh, according to him, allegedly grabbed his privates. Who did? Oh, Farrah, her before, brother. No, this juicy girl's Scooper's brother. Cooper's brother came in contact with Farrah oh, allegedly got it, got it. at this nightclub. Yes. And, you know, so she was acting kind of crazy, picking fights. I mean, and when she was on my podcast, which I have said when she came, could not have been nicer, on time, delight. But she had also been arrested at uh, the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel a few years ago and said that she was set up by Australians or, I don't know, set up by somebody. And then now she said this one that she was set up. Oh, well, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, she's obviously a little off the wall. Has had that yeah. been proven many times? I, you know, she's a... It's got to be tough being a Farrah Abraham reality show person. So that, many years out. Yeah, and you just now, what and, do you do? You get in fights in clubs and, and hope that and gets sell you, your poos. And sell your poo poo. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I mean, mean listen, I've, we, had, I've had an up and down career too, but I haven't yet to get to the point where I'm shitting in a box, <laughs> taking it to UPS. <laughs> now, I mean, I'm not ruling it out, but it hasn't happened yet. Using your, spans, your stamps.com. 
Now, let Advertiser. Me, can I, not to yes. gross anybody out, but Please there's been do. several people. There's that girl who was selling farts in a jar. Yes, yes. And now this. Now, is it, if you are the person who's doing these type of things, is there a poo that you're like, you know what? This one's not good for my fans. <laughs> like, that one's not a good one. It's too whatever. Right. You know, you want it. If you're going to give it to send it, you probably want a solid one. Right. Am I wrong? Well, yeah, I think if something. you're in that business of it, <laughs> just like the girl that was doing the farts who then had to stop to do the farts because yeah, it affected her health, she chose to suit certain foods and everything that would get her real gassy. So uh-huh. I'm assuming you're going to really work on your diet yeah. and figure it out, and maybe it's every other one that's a real treat. I don't know. <laughs> It's it is just I'm just thank God I don't have one of those quirks that because you know you don't I guess they just happen where all of a sudden you become a guy who's into poo poo you know? again I'm just like God no one wants to try yeah. to get a real job no, like no nobody. no it's the great nobody. resignation yeah. right nobody wants to work everybody wants to be a millionaire selling shit <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to do a real job that gives you a nice wage <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hello. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I love reading all the comments. I know how much you love it and depend on it. Well, make sure that you subscribe, share, like it, tell a friend, spread the word so that it is really worth my while to keep doing this and get doing hair and makeup and looking cute as well as being funny. You're welcome. So you, I want to get your opinion okay. on the whole Jamie Lynn and Britney Spears, did you listen to the I interview? I listened to the second half last night. <clears throat> yeah. I talked about it on a Thursday show with Brandy and Julie. Got We went deep on it. Okay. Um, so I, I'll just say what I think and then let's get your full opinion. So I listened to the second part of it. Um, Alex, the host of uh, Caller Daddy, said, you know, I did not edit anything out. I Tend to disagree. Don't okay. know. And I don't blame you for it, girl. I don't want people suing me either. Right. But why this was a much shorter episode. and She did two parts, two right? Two parts. Yeah. And it, the first 20 minutes were left over from the regular interview they had in person. And then the last, like, 15 minutes was a call she had with her on January 18th. Right. So now she's left. This is a week later. They recorded it all a week ago. And they have a little follow-up. And in that follow-up, Jamie Lynn reads this long text that she said she sent to her sister and to Sam, uh, the fiancé to Brittany, um, on November 20th, something, 2020. So a long time ago, about everything she thinks Brittany should do to get out of this conservatorship and all of her concerns, like... I don't know why mom is getting involved, mama. I don't know why mama's getting involved. I don't know why, you know, I don't think your attorneys are doing a good job for you. I think you should talk to this person. And like, so this whole, she was trying to say all the stuff in the second part that I really did, that I was down for her to get out of this thing. For some reason, she was under the impression, Jamie Lynn, that if Brittany just set up residency somewhere else for six months, that it would just go away. Oh, really? That like, made no sense to me because I'm like, yeah, if you set up residency in Wyoming, you can stop paying California taxes. Okay? Yeah, right. But I don't think that applies to like mental health and a bunch of people with their hands in their pockets, but whatever. She said, this is what I thought, and I would told my sister to look into it. But then Brittany never responded to that. And basically she just said, over the last two years – they would talk on the phone and they'd shoot the shit and, you know, I'd be like, I'm your sister. Like, I'm, you know, we're friends. We're moms together. And we'd have a really good talk. And then it's like, next thing I know, that like, she's blocked me and she wrote, like, something really mean on Instagram. Finally, I was like, you know, I got I got, I, I got to have my help, too. Like, I got to take care of myself and my family, too. Like, it's, like, enough. Like, I wish her the best with her journey. But, like, after a certain point, like, it's about me, too. Right. So, you know, I felt a little sympathy in that, that I don't think she had was as involved as some people think. Mm-hmm. Jamie Lynn. Jamie was, Lynn. Yeah. And I don't know how much she could have done either. I mean, we're, the same thing. is like Sam's been there for five years. He didn't get her out of the conservative ship. This is what I keep saying. And where is <laughs> he now? 
Like, uh, you know, I feel like, I don't know, you know, I, I always am hesitant to talk about this on here because there are these people, which I think at this point is becoming a, a, a little, I mean, you, you should be a bit concerned about Britney Spears just on the. I have to say this last some one, of I the thought Instagrams I'd. Instagrams alone. I thought I'd get some shit from this last one from the Britney <clears throat> fans. Right. I did not. Oh, okay. So, so only, maybe they're coming around a little bit. I only got one girl who said, how dare you talk, like, because. I was imitating Jamie Lynn and Brandy and Julie asked me about the ATV accident. And I said, I wish you wouldn't have asked me that first because that was the one serious, awful thing that the girl's been through. Right. However, I just answered it in yeah. character. And uh, so this girl said, the the Michigan Juicy Scoopers are pissed at you and I am too. And you're a piece of shit. Because what? sucks day, dick. <laughs> because I talked about it. I was like, all right, okay. Oh, like, all right, yeah. you know. But I have to say, I didn't get as much as I, because I think I'm being pretty, like, I don't care. What are you going to do to me? Like, she's free already. It's like, yeah. you hate Jamie Lynn, you hate Jamie Lynn. I kind of feel for Jamie Lynn, too. Like, fuck, you know. But tell me what you think. Well, I think, uh, I mean, I don't know much whether Jamie Lynn was involved in this or not, but I feel like now that it, this conservatorship has been lifted and I keep hearing different differing reports. Yes. It has been lifted, but it's not truly lifted. Like there was still, yeah, it's so confusing. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know. You're the, not? Okay, no, go on. So I don't know the reality. She kept saying that too, Jamie Lynn. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. Like I'm just a mom. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we know you're not a lawyer, Jamie Lynn. No yeah. one was thinking, yeah, we got did you go to law school? Yeah, yeah go on. Right. But anyway, uh, so, but I don't feel like anything has changed seemingly on the Instagram, which when I, what I was on the impression that when this was lifted, now she's in charge of her Instagram. But it's no longer being run by somebody else. And I could be wrong on all this. I know these people are experts in Britney Spears and they know who runs these things. But it seems to almost have gotten a little bit quirkier. I think she always was in charge of it. I, yeah, I, I agree. I think she always was in charge of it. Right. We spent a solid six months just trying to decipher this shit. And whoever was helping her post it, I don't think they edited it. I don't think they, like, I think they just let her do it. Right. I think they were just as lazy as the rest of the people on the payroll. And I think it proves that it was always her. Okay. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Now, the other thing is, yeah. now, he, now this Sam Ashkari, if he's a real person that's not a, there hired by somebody, which always has been my suspicion. Okay. Why is he, does he not go in and go, listen, let's not air our dirty family, dirty laundry on Instagram. There's a better way to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, there could be higher roads taken here than writing on, on Instagram posts about the beef that they have with each other. If they, you know, that's all odd. So I feel like that, you know, she's a 40-year-old woman. I mean, maybe he, she, he feels that she's been so controlled Right. I'm not going to now step in and tell her she can't, she shouldn't post this or, babe, could you take it down? Right. And this is her only outlet. She's not performing. She's not. So, like, maybe that's the philosophy of, like, I'm just not going to tell her what to do. That could be. Now, I want to get into this because, you know, Jamie Lynn was on Zoe 101 yeah. with Dan Schneider. Right. And we talked about this on Thursday's show. That there, I said there is a whole compilation uh, tape of shows that he worked on with little kids, full storylines, arches made about foot arches, like whole yeah. story, like upset girls painting their like zoom in on the foot. Yeah, he had a foot fetish as, and with kids. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And after we done, we're done recording. Right. Annie, who works with me, goes. I remember. That um, my sister and I were obsessed with it, and he with I, with I we were obsessed I with iCarly, and we wrote messages on the bottom of our feet and took photos of it and sent it to Jan Schneider because he asked us to right on the, the internet. <laughs> and I go, Whoa. what? Whoa. That, I mean, this Annie, might be, this might be of, the juiciest listen, scoop of all I, juicy scoops. No, a lot of people also criticize me. Do your research, you dumb bitch. Yeah. Again, not CNN. Mm -hmm. Memories come to me. Juicy Scoop memories come to me. But Annie went hardcore, and she found this tweet from the show Sam and Cat. Wait, uh, Sam, right on the bottom of your foot, take a pic and use Sam and Cat. Well, retweet and follow until our fingers get... 
Oh my god, that's crazy! So this was from the internet, uh, f- from the tweet Twitter of Sam and Cat the show, and it was from September thirteenth, two thousand and thirteen. Three hundred eighty-three people uh, replied, including Annie and her sister, who were like getting their feet out. <laughs> It was a story. Okay, shut up. Anyway, it was a (laughs) spill. The point is, she was a little girl. Right, right, right. Who's, you know, and she was like, goes to her sister. And they're both like, hey. And you're telling me, like, Dan Schneider's not like getting out the loop to these fucking photos? That is so bizarre. Why would also, you write the note? Also, we will retweet and follow until our fingers get sore, even sounds weird. Yeah, that's weird too. Yeah. So. But wait. Oh, that's very strange. Why right write anything on the bottom, on the bottom of, of your, your foot? foot? Take a pick and use. That is crazy. Oh wow! <laughs> I mean, and you, when you, I don't even okay, think. Next assignment, Annie, is to find the YouTube video of the compilation tape of all, and I will post it. Can I ask you yes, now? When you were writing the on the, stuff. did somebody write? Because I feel like it'd be difficult to just write on the bottom of your foot. They did it to, to each other. Each I other. Think. That's what I was going to ask. That's yeah, why okay. she. That's why her mom yeah. had two daughters. Okay, you don't have <laughs> just one daughter and expect her to be able to set her feet out. Yeah. You have two. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. so one, the little girl uh-huh. wrote on the other girl's foot. They took it and they sent it. And okay. Wow. But what was the point? Did you get out of it? Nothing. No. Oh, they did. They retweet. The did they retreat? Oh, you wrote retweet. like plot lines. Did they retweet your your your? Carly. They did it again for Twitter for Sam and Kat. Oh, she Mine did. Oh, so originally they did it for iCarly, sent it on the bottom of her feet. And then Sam and Kat, the spinoff, yeah. also followed it on Twitter. But I guess your idea was never that great or what? I guess not. <laughs> but you know who still has that photo of your foot? Wow. That Dan is Schneider. wild. That's really good. That's a good juicy scoop. I mean, <laughs> But yeah, I've often heard this weird uh, foot fetish thing with this guy. But then I read a little bit about him last night, Tell Dan me. Schneider. And it said that he's been accused of many things, uh, but none of them sexual. He hasn't been accused of anything uh, sexual uh, stuff on, on, on the sets of these shows. But He's been made, accused of being mean to people and screaming yes. and yelling, whatever. It definitely made them uncomfortable enough to yeah. write him a big-ass check and tell him to go away forever. Yeah, he's gone. $7 yes. million dollars I had read that he'd got just to like go, walk away. If you could be just awful enough to get a fat paycheck I know. It was like, would, leave, who wouldn't? Just don't, like, ugh. Don't get into like a personal lawsuit with someone. Certainly don't like hurt someone. But I wonder if there's any like CEOs or anybody that's like, I really want to quit my job and just yeah. start selling shit on the internet. Literally, literally my pill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But I want to walk away with something. Mm-hmm. And I really don't care. So I am going to just start being mean. Maybe, maybe say some inappropriate stuff, but not totally racist yeah just enough that you you could get out and be problematic for the company and so they pay you a big chunk of money yeah that would be brilliant i know that would be a good dry bar movie yeah a movie about a like yeah that'd be a good like rom-com weird movie but yeah. those never get made anymore yeah so whatever there you go wow that's um, good Brittany has been listening Purple to hair. Juicy Scoop and follows me on on uh, the internet, obviously on social media, because she said, here's me with my purple hair. <clears throat> I'm bored. Okay. Very bored. Again, where is your boyfriend? Why are you so bored? Uh, very bored. So my nail girl said, do it, girl. I did it, but not sure I like it. But hey, here is me in a $100 mini dress with my boots. Yeah, These boots have been featured not as much as the... Uh, brown. brown sensible pump, uh-huh. but a lot. And I have mentioned that she wears a lot of cheap dresses. So I don't know if she's thinking $100 isn't cheap or she's like sticking it to me. I get like, this. yeah, it's $100 and right. I'm freaking proud of it. Okay, y'all? Like, it looks good. I feel good in it. Like wet seal or something. Remember that? Yeah. Is that like a cheap oh, that's, dress? Storm? I don't know if it's still around. I don't think yes, they're around anymore, yes. but I'm saying that Forever I feel like, 21. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even Forever 21, 100 is a little bit more expensive. So if she's only shopping at Forever 21, yeah. she's probably like $100 is 
is expensive. Wow. I know. Well, and then, you know, the bathroom cabinets are open, which freaks me out to no end. I don't know if I have some sort of OCD or something. I always go right to people's cabinets <laughs> or, or you in the just, background. Or it was the poltergeist. Or the yeah, poltergeist I just, the I just don't know open. why people don't close their cabinets. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, she looks great. Listen, the girl, the body looks the body's fantastic. Banging. She's yeah. good. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with these sisters. Yeah. Another thing that you talked about, Chris. Thank you. And has been written about mm-hmm. now. Thin eyebrows are back. Here's what you can expect from the controversial trend this time around. Bella Hadid, daughter of Yolanda Hadid, Hadid sister to Gigi, models. She's had a lot of work done to her face. The Hadids? Yes, she has. This one? Yes. Nose jobs, lips, oh. cheek uh, filler, jaw filler. And she also got a f- what they call a fox eye. Oh. And so people like- do that that are young. And then they it's like a, a facelift for a young person where they just pull your eye like this so that your brows don't go arch. They go like a fox. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I didn't know that. She also, she's been very unhappy. She talks about she's been crying all the time. I don't know what her problem is. Anyway, her eyebrows are, are 90s thin. Yeah, 90s thin, yeah. And so people are like, oh, what's going going to happen? Because Cause everybody's going full in. I mean, Chrissy Teigen just got an, yeah. a, an eyebrow transplant. I right. don't even know what that means. That means you take the hair from your pussy. And put it no, I think it is. I think it did. They did. I saw, I heard her. Saying that they took the hair from somewhere else, she said. And Where else do you have hair anymore? I think in my beard. Okay. You know? And then you put it on your brows, and now, but now they're back, the thin. I don't know. The thin but could be The back. whole 90s look is coming back. Like what like else? Darker matte lip and like some of the clothes. and Because all these young kids um, are like showing photos. Of, this is what I think. Yeah. Because you know I like the TikTok. A lot of people, a lot of young people on t- TikTok that are like 16 are like, look how hot my mom and dad were. Oh, And they right. were like 20-something in the 90s. Uh-huh. And so people are like, ooh, ooh, I do like that look. You know, I do like that, you know, TLC look, or I do like mm-hmm. that, you know. And so that's why I think people are starting to like want a change. I have to say, I, this, this is a Hadid eyebrow looks good in this picture. That looks good to me. Okay. I like all my... Eyebrows to look like, you know, every girl's going to see Fast and Furious Seven. You know, the line to get into, like, so a bunch of Latina chicks with thin eyebrows. <laughs> this is going to be the best one yet. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right. A lot of people sent this to me, and they want to know the truth. As a person who's been on Dumois, yes, thank you very much. Yes, um, you know, I could relate to this. So, um, willing out in Vegas, ran into a wiling. Pretty... Oh, <laughs> wiling out. That's what they call it. wiling out. You know, I say it's worth your wild. Yeah. Not worth your while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, <laughs> I had one too for many years and I've, I forgot. Um, anyway. That you yeah. did wrong. Yeah, I did wrong. For okay. Many years. Ran into a pretty famous female comedian in Vegas last night. And this was a week ago. So. I was there. Bells and whistles. You know, it has all the bells and whistles. I thought yeah. it was balls and whistles. I, was, <laughs> I got a, I had all the balls and whistles. People were like, what are you saying? I'm like, balls and whistles. Aren't they both fun things? Like, you know, it's bells and whistles. I'm like, I didn't know that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so anyway, go on. I, got, I used to get a lot of those wrong, too, for yeah. years. Well, I always thought. Dark Vader. <laughs> I remember one time. I thought up and I was in the writer's room at Chelsea Lately, and I... Hundred percent. Always said Dark Vader. Dark Vader, <laughs> which Instead makes of, sense. He's dark. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I also saw thought it was a light saver. <laughs> so Star Wars really had you. Yeah, yeah well, I also I'm not into light. Star Wars. Yeah. So I thought it's a what is it? It's a light lightsaber. Oh, saber. Yeah, saber. And I thought it was a, no. I thought it was a life saver. Life saver. Because they, yeah. they killed with that thing. <laughs> right, right. So that saved your life. Uh, yeah. You okay. Could, you could defend your life. Yeah. Um, ran into a pretty famous female comedian in, Las Ve- in Vegas last night. Her and her crew were whiling out hard. She gave me animal crackers from her purse. They were stale. Ha ha. They were all like stripping in the streets. And she shared a lot of PDA moments with one of the girls in her group. 
Wow. So I went to Las Vegas with uh, two cute girls. I had the best weekend of my life. I talked about it on Patreon. Um, and listen, I read this. Yeah. And I stopped for a second. But then I realized I am a disorganized mess. But mm-hmm. I had just purchased a new handbag. Right. So I know I didn't have any old animal, animal cr- crackers <laughs> in my purse. But yeah. other purses probably have old animal crackers in it. Okay? Uh-huh. Um, anyway, so it is not me. Yeah. But being that there was another famous female comedian – well, I'm reading in this, Vegas and, I, and at this, the time, everything about this screams who that person is. And I, know, I think it's Whitney Cummings. Yeah, I know who yeah. you're talking about. This all screams Whitney Cummings. Yeah. Except for maybe the last part. I don't know if she goes that way, but who knows? Well, I was just with the Altmans from Million Dollar Listing, mm-hmm. and they were at the same night club I was, but they were not in a booth. They were out there, and they said they did see her, and that she was was had her ass in some chick's face. Well, yeah. pull down. Her well, she's her ass is always out. Yeah, her ass yeah. is all out. But it's kind of like her comedy, and so I don't know. Yeah, good for her. Good for ah, her. It sounds like a fun. I mean, now how is Vegas all in all? Like, it's I, is it still fun? I know, saw you. You were at clubs and stuff. We did it right. We did it right, and I, you know, planned it out, including yeah. shopping spa, enough nap time. Didn't, right. you know, didn't get wasted, you know, went yeah. through jet suites. So for me, it was the perfect weekend. And the girls were cool and there was no drama and no one, like, didn't want to go out the second mm-hmm. night, like, normally with yeah, my right. friends and my past. You lose a few people. Yes. And, like, I'm, but instead I'm with these girls that are significantly younger than I am, that are as hot as shit, I love having, like, yeah. Fun friends like this, so we had a good, we had a really good time. Good, it but the vibe, fun. the vibe was not crowded. Yeah, I mean, I was at Encore and Win, and then we went over to Resort World. It was not crowded. They said it was more crowded the weekend before. Now let's talk about since we're talking about it, let's talk about our girl Adele. Oh yeah, she's got a problem with her show. Adele is crying. Uh, so tonight which we're recording this Friday, was supposed to be opening night of her residency at Caesars Palace. Right. And she announced it less than 24 hours before she was to take stage. I think it was, or 48 hours, something. 24 right. maybe. And she's crying and she said, she's gutted, I'm gutted, I'm so sad. And I believe she's really sad. I, I don't understand what the problem was. I don't know if that there were items that were supposed to be part of the stage that are like, you know, in the in the streets of uh, the train station in right. L.A. Like That's where what the I've people heard. robbed it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Supply if chain issue. I, I don't know if it's half of her crew tested positive for COVID. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but they couldn't do the show. They're going to reschedule. They're going to reschedule. Right. And um, but then I came across. A video, a TikTok, of course, of this girl that looked pretty young. Maybe she was like 30. And she's sitting in her hotel room in Las Vegas in Caesars. Oh, waiting to go. And she's like, it costs $800 to fly out here. Oh, no. We had to stay at Caesars because the show is here, which is always what I recommend. Stay at the place that you're at. Right. So you're not like stuck late for the show because you're trying to cross the street. Um, That's going to be a couple grand. They spent a couple grand on the tickets, twenty seven hundred, and now she's like a working girl. So she's like, "I don't think I'll. I, this is my vacation time. Right. I may not get the vacation time when this gets rescheduled." Yeah, that's a good point. And other, I mean, some people spent so much money, and some people are like, "Who cares?" There were rich people that were going, but well, there's probably other people too yeah, that this, regular, this, this, this that was their. I mean, savings. how many proposals do you think were happening on the Adele weekend? Yeah, so how many guys were like, from... "This is my girl's favorite singer." Yeah. We're at Caesars or whatever, or anniversaries or all this, and what are they supposed to do? Go see Barry Manilow down the block. He's <sighs> he's got his. He'll, he's not going to cancel. <laughs> <laughs> He's been rocking that old ass couple of hotels. I'm like, down. does the Caesar's Palace at that point though give you a deal? Or call me. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Or call some other like singer that's 
Like, right. hey, do you want to just come in here and like just so people have a show to see? But I guess that would confuse everything with like replacing tickets and it's just not worth it. But like if I was Caesars, I'd be like, what other show, even right. if it was free, even if we could go, you're still going to get your tickets back. But come and see the stand up. We only need one mic. That's a good idea. You know, like that, we that... only need one mic. Like if they call me, we're going to fly you down, Heather. Mm-hmm. And whoever wants to come to the show can come. Because they're bummed out. Nothing against you, but I think it has to be a singer. Because I think people were like, <laughs> wanted, like you got to get a Pat Benatar. No, that's what I'm saying. But like, if there was some Somebody other singer, some that, or like they had a connection with, and they're just like, or even just like cover band, whatever, we just want to offer you guys a show. Yeah. Because you're our guest at the hotel, and you know Adele can't do it, but if you want to come, are you familiar with a PP cocaine? No. <laughs> oh, you're on TikTok. She's a TikTok sensation singer. Okay. You can't get PP cocaine to come down and sing a couple of songs? You don't watch her on TikTok? No, but I will. Her, a lot I... of her screaming in the street, you stupid, you stupid. <laughs> anyway, um, I just think this sucks. I think this Adele's a bit of a loose cannon. There's I, always a, you know. I think, it, was... I think it sucks because I think this is going to make people, unfortunately, across the board, very nervous to make big plans. Right. I do also, and, I respect it a little bit in the fact that if you don't think the show is 100%, then uh, we'll, we'll do it another time. No, too fucking bad. Really? All right. No, no. All right. If it, we don't really know it, but like if, if it's because you don't feel like it's 100% with your singing and performing, which I think you do. We just saw right. you at the whatever in LA, the bowl or whatever that was. Yeah. Um, like because they don't have like your pink chairs or whatever you're hoping to have on stage or I don't I mean yes you want that great review and you want it to be perfect and everything um but no I don't think you have the right to do that when people have planned their life around going uh, to this right. thing but we really don't know the truth yeah like it could be several factors and she was crying and she was like we were trying so hard which is why I'm telling you now but even if she had just Made this, this decision. On stage. Like, I'll do an co- acoustic show. The show that we were planning is not ready. Right. But so, you guys are who flew in, like this girl. Yeah. I'm, here I am doing an acoustic show with a guitar and a fucking piano. And, and you know what? Nobody would want no. their money back. I know what I'm saying. Nobody would complain. Nobody would care. The, my other thing is, like, if this was even heading down this road. Yeah. I think it was irresponsible not to tell, like at least give people like a Wednesday. Okay. So they don't fly out. They don't ask for their time. They get their money back for the hotel. Yeah. So then it makes me think, was Caesars waiting? Like, was Caesars fucking her too? Right. By making sure that their rooms still get people yeah, there. Yeah, right, right, right. Wow. Well, I mean, I hope, when did, has she rescheduled the shows yet or she's going to do it again? No. But other people said for apologies, at least she took your advice. No makeup. No, she did And a, a video yeah. versus the black screens. The M&Ms are woke. Yeah. And just, and just like that, M&Ms. Now, we're reading. It's very kind of confusing. They don't. Yeah. At first, I thought they were going to all look different. And I'm like, well, already they are people of color. So I don't yeah, they like... have a lot of colors. <laughs> yeah, they are. There are a few. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I don't think we need to like change up. Like every other show, we need to like take out the whiteies and put the people of color in. Uh-huh. But the the M and M's have always represented the M and M's: green people, red people, black people, right. brown people, blue, orange, and yellow. Well, what I gathered was the yeah. green M M&M and M was a slut. And that day, that's and all the commercials. She would walk around in like these go-go boots and oh, be very. She be, was be laying on a bed. Boots. She was in go-go boots, be laying out of bed and be oh, very. You're right. You know, remember those commercials where she was like, they're like in hotel rooms. Yeah, kind of like it was kind of like hot. <laughs> like, am I getting turned on by an M&M? <laughs> so. But now they're like, enough of that. Let's not turn people on. You know, people are weirdos. We've, just, we've discussed that this entire time. People are writing on the bottom of feet. They're shitting. They're selling it. People are going to jerk off to the green M&M. <laughs> so <laughs> they said, let's put some sneakers on this bitch and stop these freaks. Right. They took too- off. And, you know, they, they were go-go boots and stuff. Yeah. 
But they weren't at obnoxiously high heel. But, she could yeah. still get around the streets, yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest story ever. This is a real thing. Like, you got to go on the M&M's website. They explain the whole thing. They do. So they said, they her to be greed, greed. This is what they wrote. Why, what does this mean about the physical looks of M&M's? So let's look at their footwear for starters. Green, known for her sultry look and go-go boots, now wears casual sneakers. Orange, often shown with a nervous look, now has his shoes tied as opposed to untied. Yeah. Because I guess they thought, like, well, that's just rude. Like, are we saying that people that are orange don't know how to tie their shoe? <laughs> yeah. So, like, right. get that done. <laughs> no, he knows how to tie his shoe. You'll still be able to recognize each character who will be – will keep most of their signature looks, but the candies will each have a unique personality to fit their design. Yeah. So basically... Listen, if you like your candy slutty, I recommend going over to Skittles. <laughs> Those bitches don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. First of all, I can't say slutty. It's sex positive. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Um, so, okay. Um, let's see. Wow. I think we could all win when we see more women in leading roles. Green says in describing her best quality, because now Green is actually talking. Yeah. <laughs> Mars will also incorporate different shapes and sizes of the M&M pieces in their advertising. Some are tall and skinny, while others wide and tiny. Yeah. So it's, you know, the plus size, there's talls. Like, I mean, first of all, M&M's, when you buy them, though, they're all one size unless you get the, the peanut. peanut ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but not, not necessarily true. I mean, you got a hot topic for me. I'm an <laughs> M&M freak. <laughs> they, there are a lot of different flavors now. We used to just have your chocolate and your M&M. I mean, yeah. your peanut. Oh, yeah. Now they got all sorts of toffee and all, mm. a lot of different caramel. So they are they, they, a lot of different sizes. Yeah. You yeah. know, And you know what? At the M&M place on the Strip in Vegas, yeah. that's always where they're passing out like Go get a hooker. Oh, well. Yeah, and some of them are walking around as green M&Ms as with green. pumps on. Okay. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. As one of the world's most iconic candy, who better to commit to a world with more moments? Let me see. Um, social, okay, let's see. What about that old queen? Um, uh, who's the, 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 the gay kid on Cracker Jack? What about Cracker Jack? Is, is he still going to – why don't they revamp him? He was a little queenie, <laughs> a little kerchief off. Will you look up Cracker Jack? <laughs> I feel he like – He had a very gay vibe to him. So does Mr. Pretzel. I mean if we're going to start. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know the thing <laughs> the is – the monocle. Well, the thing, the thing is is like what people were saying um, – you know what? When they, people were arguing that we got rid of Aunt Jemima and we got rid of Uncle Ben. Right. The argument to that was, well, now we're not seeing people of color represented on major items right. in the grocery store. Right. So, the, you know, you're now you're getting rid. Like, now we don't see the green girl in go-go boots, which I've always loved, yeah. and lashes. I know. That's me. <laughs> I have the, been she erased. She was representing you. Yeah. She 100% represented me. Right. I, I have white go-go boots. I yeah. just wore them the other night. I've been doing lashes for years, and now I'm expected to wear tennis shoes and wash my face. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, what are we? We all got to dress like Ellen now. And they also said, um, "Wait, I thought I, I accepted." Here we go. Oh, 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 come on! Look at this old queen. <laughs> Cracker Jack is a young sailor boy. He's named Sailor Jack. And, yeah. um, you know, listen, the sailor outfit. Yeah, it's become synonymous with with. I with, do think. I wonder if yeah. a Navy recruiter has struggled. Have they ever had a – if I was in the Navy yeah. and I'm trying to recruit young men and women to join the Navy, mm -hmm. I would say, listen, the outfit is super gay. Like, like <laughs> with the like, yeah. bell-bottom pants I mean, and maybe we're getting people because yeah. people are like, that's the outfit I've always wanted. But I think we're losing more people because of the outfit. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is weird when sometimes you see them walking around and you're like, <laughs> I honestly, like, I'm ready for you to do a spin. Like, I feel like the only time I've oh, seen it. Yes, down in, if you go to Santa Monica Boulevard on Halloween, it looks like we're about to invade Encino. There's so many troops down there. <laughs> oh, my God. And mm. it is, I mean, it's just, 
<laughs> I need to talk to someone in the Navy. Have you guys ever had a meeting about changing yeah. the more dress up outfit? You mm-hmm. know, like the Marines, their dress up blues. Yeah, it's has manly. Manly, but it's still that high waisted white belt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think that looks great on the body. <laughs> I agree. So, like, and my dad was a Marine, so yeah, don't come yeah. after me. Uh-huh. Simplify. Love you all. Yeah. I just think we could make their bodies look sexier, better without the high waisted white belt. So, can I just give mine? We, if, we, we, if we're going to. We should do a fashion. They just did a project runway with housewives. No, yeah. they need to do a project runway with military people. Yes. Yes. Please. <laughs> We're, okay. The other on. one, if, yeah. if we, if we're, as long as we're redesigning some people, yeah. <laughs> can we redesign a pilot's bad leather jackets? Every pilot I see walking through the airport looks like they just got, they got like the leather jacket from Sky Mall magazine. <laughs> Big. <laughs> so let's just redesign those as well while we're at it. Hit while them out a little it. bit. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's all. Okay. Um, Cracker Jack. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and do we even know that he's I don't know a his... boy? I no. mean, that's the other well, thing. Yeah. He's just a child. Right. And um, selling. selling some I mean, sugary treats. I mean, if we weren't for baseball, does anyone have Cracker Jacks anymore? They only sell them at baseball stadiums, I think. I oh, okay. I don't know if it's even really a thing anymore. Oh, I just feel like all <laughs> how they get like stuck in your teeth. Yeah. So that was exciting news. Now, this is juicy. Okay. Okay. And I want to get your opinion as a one-time a self-proclaimed player is what we called your the kind of guy that now they're called fuckboys. Back when I, yeah. But when I right. was growing up, he's hot, but he's a player. Player, yeah. And that just mm-hmm. meant don't be taken by this guy flirting on you at the college bar. Right. He does that with everybody. Just be careful. Don't fall in love. That's right. what it meant when you were like, Joe Schmo is a player. Mm-hmm. So this went viral on TikTok. This girl starts to talk about this guy that she met on her TikTok on Hinge, and his name's, you know, she talks about him, and then people started writing her, and they're like, did you, are, are you talking about Caleb that worked at West Elm, which is like a, fur, he was like a furniture designer, and he's tall and he's cute, and all these other people start writing it and making TikToks. I dated Caleb, they called him West, El, West Elm and Caleb. Caleb. And he's tall and he's cute. He's got wow. a job. Huh? That's not. Yeah. Yeah, right. he's got a job. And uh, and so, you know, he meets girls and then he goes some after a couple dates. He love bombs them. And then, you know, once he has sex with them or whatever, two dates in, you never hear from him again. Right. So everybody starts writing about it. But then it's a slow day. So people really start writing about the guy. And this is Caleb. He's 25, designer at West Elm. I've got his photo from Hinge. And this is what's interesting. You know, gosh, you know, this guy didn't rape anybody. He's not a dirty John. Right. Um, But he, you know, got girls to like him, and then he dumped them. Uh Uh-huh. But in this day and age, he's being crucified, you know, like Jesus Christ. He's also 25. He's 25. Give the guy a break, right? But the girls are like, they have every right to tell their story and have fun with it, too. My whole thing is, you know, in this day and age, if you're going to be on Hinge, if you're going to be on Instagram, get ready. Yeah. People are going to share your shit, whether you like it or not. He has not responded, Caleb, to any of this. And um, But I think Caleb is probably pretty great in the sack uh-huh i think he's pretty charming i think he's pretty cute and the sack that's probably nicely designed it's got west elm <laughs> sack you know it's probably a gorgeous bed like one of the one of the complaints was that he took a girl out friday night she slept over at his place was it he, he she slept at his and then the next day because all these girls got together they realized that he in fact took another girl out saturday night so yeah, what? That's whatever. You're single. Yeah. You're single. And you're 25. You're 25 and you had to be in COVID for two years. Get your fuck on. Right. Like, who cares? Like, but these girls are having fun telling their story. But I'm like, obviously, the reason that you care is because you liked him. Yeah. Because you thought, I really can't believe this tall, cute guy with a job who has a pretty great personality and bought me dinner likes me. So yeah. I'm sleeping with him on the second date and then I'm not hearing from him and now my heart's broken. That's why you shouldn't sleep with people so soon because they go on and have a date with someone else on Saturday. Right. So that's my lesson to you girls. 
Caleb, um, I would say this. I have no problem with you, Caleb. You can be on Juicy Scoop. I want to hear about your life. I support you as I, a player I like slash. I don't like. I like. I would like to bring back the word player. Player. As a mother of boys, I think player is way more respectful than, than the f boy. boy. Yeah, I agree. And um, also, you're the one effing them. Shut up, yeah, bitch. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, as a guy who who no longer you know gets his uh, freak on, as you said. Or, I, 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 I encourage more sluttiness. I want to hear, like, I don't want to hear. It's called a sex positive. Story. What do yes. you, I thought all girls were supposed to be sex positive. Why yeah. are they crucifying a guy that's sex positive? Exactly. I don't want to hear a story about this guy. I met her, we had sex once, and we got married. That's boring. Yeah. I want to hear, I went on another day with another girl, and on and on and on. Hey, that's it's what work, I like. He knows the pattern. It's working out. Right. He's a tall, cute guy. Uh, yeah. So I, I and they were like tagging his work. They're like oh. almost I feel like wanting to get him fired. And I swear to God, listen to me right now, West Elm. If you fire Caleb, no, I am don't coming you dare. after you. Promote that is him. not okay. Yeah. Yes. I love West Elm. We have <laughs> We have a lot of gold pieces in our house in West Elm. Um yeah. Well if you want to see like sex where I'll show you. We'll get into this topic now because if you take sex out of things, you get, I believe, the new Sex in the City, which at one time we used to love yes. because it was everybody having sex in the city. Yeah. That's the title of the show. is Now it's – if I have to watch one more episode where Carrie, we are gonna watch where it. Carrie sniffs big suits and says, big is dead. <laughs> you know, we got it. Big well, is dead. Well, let's, let's talk start. about it. The episode of this week. Yeah. Big Watched stuff it. happened. The biggest thing, of course, was with Miranda. More Miranda. She's become the star of the show, begrudgingly to me. I know. She's 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 at the uh, Pride thing that like a comedy was... concert. She was at a Pride. Con- Is there another comedian in New York City than this bitch who gets up there? I mean, everything they go to, and now Che Diaz. <laughs> and she pops che up. Che Diaz on... is speaking at Pride. Yeah, every she's on her stage every like... episode. And then. Uh... I mean, just so unfunny. So that she's doing her stuff about pride. Be you, be you. Again, not funny at all, just inspirational. Yeah. Miranda, who's been, you know, the finger that was felt around the world, it's been happening for three weeks, according to the show. They've been fingering each other for three weeks straight. Yeah. So she disappears because she sees her son, Brady, and his girlfriend, who are allies, allies. At, the, at the pride. So then... Uh, Shay sees her twink go off, and then Shay does a little funny comedy bit when she sees her. She goes, "Oh, you were uh, scooting off like Elmer Fudd." Yeah. Who? What are these references? Mm-hmm. I think she said Elmer Fudd. She said something like a really old ra- yeah. Rambo from the eighties. Rambo is the name she calls her. Yeah, her calls cool her Rambo, name. and then Elmer. Like, who yeah. Are the writers ninety five? What's happening? So. Um, that is where we find out that Shay was under the impression because she's so open minded. She sleeps with everybody. She's non binary. She's multisexual. I don't know what. That she just assumed that the 55 year old mother of one that she's been fingering for three weeks was in an open marriage in which her husband was completely happy with the fact that she was being fingered by yeah. the host of the hottest podcast in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Shay Diaz. So she's like basically. You got to tell Steve. Right. So how about I'm Miranda and you're Steve. Okay. Okay. (laughs) I'll do my best. Steve. Yeah. What what do you need, Miranda? I'm I'm trying to watch TV here. Steve, put your other hearing aid in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's in the couch somewhere. Let me find it here. I I was just trying to watch this baseball game here. uh, uh, I'm 55 and suddenly my hearing is gone, you know. We know, Steve. Yeah. All right, go. What do you got to say? I need to talk to you about something serious. Oh, no. What is this going to be? I get you want a divorce? Yes, Steve. Uh, I do. What have I done wrong now, babe? Besides, we have ice cream and watch TV. Yeah, but I want more than sprinkles. <laughs> I want more than sitting on this couch. You really want to do this for the next 30 years, Steve? <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought we were going to do it for the next 30 years. I could... <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. I want to feel alive. Inside. I mean, all the way inside. 
I don't know where I, I tried to finger you in the kitchen. Remember last episode where I, I washed my hands before? It wasn't good, Steve. It wasn't good. I've met somebody. <gasps> How long you been uh, with this one? They and I have been together. <laughs> oh, uh, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> Their name is Che Diaz. Oh. She's... The famous com- comedy concert guy? Remember, we watched her special. We watched her comedy concert on oh, Netflix no. 18 times. Oh. Every time it finished, I would go to the bathroom and masturbate myself. But you were too deaf to hear me moan. I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Anyway, they have a concert in Cleveland, and I'm going to go tell them. That you and I are divorcing, and we are going to get married to them, and I, yeah, Steve, I'm happy, okay? All right. (sighs) So, a lot of people felt amazing impressions. Chris? Let me just say that I I was on, that was on the fly. I didn't know that was I did never tell you. I didn't even think we were going to do it. And I gave you a pretty decent Steve. Honestly, might be the best impression you've ever done in your life. (laughs) Oh, please don't get rid of Steve on this show because Chris and I have a lot of work to do. All right. All right. Um, Listen, what do you think? Give me your opinion. I'll say this. Yes. I watched this show. I do watch it. Yes. And I, I'm not a good TV watcher. I, I bail on many things. But this one, for some reason, is keeping my attention. Yes. I don't know if it's a half hour. That I like. You know, it's not three hours. So, and then when it's over, I am kind of like, oh, I wish that was a little longer. When she starts going, and just like that, you know, it's going to be ending. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> so, I'm like, I don't know. I was kind of enjoying it. So, I, I, I don't know. I, want, I don't want to say hate watching because I don't hate it. But I hate it. You know? Does that make any sense? Well, a lot of people said that they... Didn't hate this episode as no, much. No, they're getting better. I was a little bored. Really? I was a little, I'm a, very bored with Charlotte. Yeah. Very bored with it's Charlotte, Lily, line. the whole thing. The, every time, I'm a 57-year-old Jew yeah, that right. still gets blown by my wife. Like, yeah. I just, that's boring mm-hmm. to me. The tennis I, one. Oh, oh my God, whole, that was torture. Whole tennis. Um, her rich neighbor downstairs was kind of interesting. It's full dick. You saw full dick. The yeah. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. rare. You don't see full dick no, very often. No, we got to see that. and um, But I'm like, I kind of want to go back to the old episodes where, like, this girl isn't part of the cast, the neighbor right. downstairs. Have something juicy happen with her. Right. Have, like, have Carrie learn a lesson from having contact with this guest star. Mm-hmm. And then go on. Go on. Right. That's an interesting thing. You have a rich kid that, li- you know, how do you a- act not like an asshole to be like, turn it down? Because we've all been there. Now you're homeowners and you're like, what the fuck? And right. you're like, oh my God, I am that old lady now. So like that, I was okay with. Well, I love the fact that she calls uh, her podcast co-host, Bobby Lee, who's a friend of ours. Oh you know, yes, we Bobby all- Lee had she, a moment. She calls Bobby to talk about what do young people say to other young people? I'm like, Bobby Lee's 50. Like, I know Bobby. <laughs> Like, he's certainly not the young kid who knows how to talk to young kids. Can you kids. look up Bobby Lee, actually? I mean, Bobby His Lee's got to be close to 50. I would think so, but he's I He's 46. If, if I mean, good for him for, like, looking young. And that was kind of like, and then he's like, give me the tea. And I'm like, oh, my God, if he would have said, give me the juicy scoop, I would have fucking yeah. shit my pants and sold it on the internet. I'd like to see more <laughs> Bobby Lee, less Che Diaz. But I'll say yeah. this. Can I say, I know yeah. there's a lot of Che Diaz hate out there. Yeah. I find the actress to be very good. She's playing a character that, for whatever reason, is unlikable. Yes. But I think she's a very good actress. I'll give her well, that. Well, when she is giving it to Miranda, like, yeah. what the hell? Like, I am a really free spirit, but I'm not a homewrecker. I appreciate that because there's a lot of people that are polyamorous or whatever. And that part, I do think, is something interesting to explore. Now, she goes to Cleveland. Um, hopefully, she's performing at Hilarity's Great Club. <laughs> Great Club, yes, please. <laughs> Let's see her. Yeah, see how quickly. And, uh, see how quickly uh, Miranda runs away when she spends a weekend in <laughs> Cleveland's Hilarity's. <laughs> and oh, I, I thought I'd be like the special. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we were going to have to sit in this tiny green room. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
oh, chicken fingers. You know, that's all they serve is chicken. Yeah, and I was like thinking, you're going from sitting on the couch, just think about this, with your husband for 20 years, living a normal life, raising a teenage son, yeah. to now 55 being with a non-binary Comedian. road comic that gets stopped. Other girls want to be fingered by her too. Yeah. Other guys that are like on the fringe or whatever will bone her as well. Yeah. So I have to say I'm a little excited to watch this. Like, is she going to walk in on her with someone else? Is, you know, what's going to happen here? I so, think, I mean, I don't know. Are they going to, well, I, I looked and there's only 10 episodes. We're already on eight. So I'm only two so more. sad. I know. I'm so sad because I honestly, I just, I love exploring it, explaining it, all of it. Yeah. I'm, I agree with you. It is, it is fun to watch. It's fun to, but I think we're romanticizing the early Sex in the yes. City because they were cheesy too. If you and watch I, them again, there was a cheesy element to the or even the old ones. So I mean, is this any less cheesy than the old ones? I think I don't think it is. Right, and the other thing about the old ones, I always say, is like what was really interesting about that whole time is that I think that Sex in the City really kind of shaped a generation of women to be more sexually free and sex positive and. Because I remember watching that already, like, being married, and I'm like, God, are 30-year-olds boning this much with strangers? Yeah. Like, I was kind of like, and I think young people start to watch that, and they're like, yeah, and now we have West Elm Caleb. Yeah, West Elm Caleb. We have West West Elm Caleb, because Mm -hmm. girls that were 15 watched this and was like, I'm going to bone someone on the first or second date that I meet on Tinder. Yeah. And Hinge. And then I'm going to blow them up on uh, TikTok and I don't give a shit. Yeah. It was a good time. It was I, a good time. I I would like uh, – I'm sorry. What is her character's name? Charlotte. Charlotte. I would like Charlotte to be phased out. Here's what I am I would like. And and the Indian uh, real estate agent to be brought – I like that character more. Me too. I would like to see less I, Yes. Like Charlotte, let's see like – Let's see Carrie. This is what I'd like to see. Yeah. Let's see some other beautiful. Let's have the realtor take Carrie Hampton's weekend. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna meet some rich yes. men. I have an old Please. client. They they oh, get drunk. Yes. She has sex. Like they whatever, or maybe they both like the same guy. Wouldn't that be interesting? Or they're like, well, what does it matter that we're both dating the same guy? There aren't that many fifty five year old hot guys left. What? That's so weird. There's so much more that we could explore. Of women that this is now, this age. What'd you think of the latest boy, the guy she went on a couple of dates with who vomited on his shoes? Like, what'd you think of that look? I thought he was cute. It's cute. It's cute. I thought he was cute, and I thought they, like, yeah, let's see that. But I thought she was going to start boning the podcast guy, so the producer. Why that they was... show him? They showed him a little bit a few times, and I'm like, why are we like, zooming in on, on the producer of the podcast? Yes. I thought, oh, this is obviously going to develop here, this character, but it didn't. Yeah, he liked her joke about the uh, city bike. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. So I don't, yeah, I mean, it's just all so funny that I guess I think it's because I'm a comedian. So the whole comedy angle bothers me a little bit because yeah. I, we know the reality of it. Like Miranda's, it's not going to be any better than eating ice cream on the couch with Steve. If I mean, on, she's going to be taking Southwest flights to Cleveland now. Yeah. And that's not. Or she'll, right. she'll go the first half of the tour and then the second half of the tour, she'll just she's bow out. out. <laughs> she's out. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I don't know. I thought. Right. I thought you'd be doing different material every show. Right. I mean, I've already heard the story about you coming out. Chase, do you really care? Right. Wait, yeah. you're going to be Che. I'm going to be Miranda. They've been dating a while. Yeah. And you're asking me if I'm coming to the show tonight because yeah. I'm staying with you okay. at the city. Okay? Because yeah, we've yeah, all had yeah. this with our significant okay, others. Right. Uh, yeah, so we just we just spent the day in the mall in Omaha, yeah, okay. and then show that night is the funny bone. We're eating lunch. <laughs> We're eating lunch and at Applebee's in, at the mall. Yeah, that's what your choices okay. are. So I'm Miranda. Okay. Uh, so uh, what time do you have to be at the club tonight, Shay? I'm going to get there around uh, six, you know, because uh, we do meet and greets. We do meet and greets first instead of after. So uh, that's what. Cool, I, yeah. cool, so cool. That's how I'm going to get there. You're going to come to. The, you, we're at the funny bone. It's in the it's in the mall, and uh, in the Omaha funny bone. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, I'm really tired. Oh, I just thought maybe I would just you know catch up on some of my schoolwork and um, you know, and uh, because oh, I'm, I'm taking that, I'm taking doing, that class. I'm doing two shows tonight. Yeah, I just um, I thought about maybe coming to the second one, but that's really late for me. Starts and, at ten thirty. <laughs> yeah, and um, also uh, Shay, when you come in tonight, um, at two a.m. Mm-hmm. 
smelling like weed, which I understand. Okay. <laughs> no, it's part. Um, can you keep it down a notch? Because I'm already like asleep for four hours, and um, I'm, I'm not going to come tonight because it's like I am. Um, so you're going to stay at the Hilton Garden Inn that we're in right now because that's the only choice here in this city. Yeah. It's not. There's no Ritz Carlton here, so we're uh-huh. staying at the. And you're going to stay there for the night. Yeah, I, I just kind of. I don't know if I need to go to um, Pittsburgh with you next week either. Oh, that with Pittsburgh, we're doing the improv. Yeah, I've, um, I feel like I've heard your stories before. I thought you'd be doing a new. No, this is a set I do. It's the one I. It's my I, set. Yeah, I mean, and it's great, and I love hearing about how you came out and your Mexican mother and your Irish dad. And I mean, oh, the accent is so so clever. But um, you know, I've heard it. Okay, so well, I think I'm good. I mean, I'm still fine with you fingering me in the morning. <laughs> Oh, well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's still good. Because I want to make sure that we keep doing that. Yeah. Well, all right. But then I want to get up about 9 a.m. and get on the plane. Yeah. And I know that you went to bed at four because you're wired from doing the show. But if you could just get up at seven, finger me. Yeah. So that I'm well, satisfied. Well, it's difficult for me to get up at seven because I got to go do morning radio. I got to go go Jimmy and the Wildcats on 97.3 oh, uh, Rock and Roll Atlanta. Um, I guess I could listen to that while I get ready, but. So when does the fingering happen? Does it happen before the radio or after the radio? Because then that's really why I'm staying at this Hilton Garden Inn. And while I'm not sitting on the couch with Steve. Okay, I'm going to call Steve. I'm going to make up with Steve now. Diggling, ling, ling. Oh, or no, maybe not diggling. We've got to meet in person because you're deaf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. (sighs) Thanks for meeting me, Steve. How's Brady? Ah, yeah. Brady's been doing great. He's uh, he's still fucking his girlfriend. (laughs) He's still fucking his girlfriend in front of my face, literally on the kitchen table, and I'm trying to eat ice cream. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, um, we better make sure that she's on birth control. Um, I hope so. I, um, I miss you, Steve. Yeah, I miss you too, Moran. I mean, I, I, there's nobody to put sprinkles on my ice cream. I'm sitting over here. I can't find my hearing aid. I haven't heard a thing in three oh, fucking I, weeks. I brought you the batteries. They're little. Ah, you probably they can't are. pop them out with your fingers. Let me. I have <laughs> oh, nails. My, I got arthritis me, as well. I here, it's a little round battery right thank there. Thank you. Ah, all right. Wait, well, now what were I, you saying? I, I like doing things like that for you. Um, thank you. I kind of miss it, you know. Um, How's life on the road? <sighs> with Jay Diaz. <laughs> It's not that fun. What? It's the same stories over and over again. But I, if I have another chicken finger, I'm going to kill myself. I heard you guys were going to Des Moines. I like New York. I like us. I like ice cream. I like yelling at you because you can no longer hear. This is going to be. I like being Brady's parents. I like wearing comfortable shoes and not standing up during a concert. Yeah. Why can't she have chairs at her comedy shows like other people? <laughs> I mean, they. Why can't they have chairs? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why are they standing? I thought that was strange, too. I thought they... Hold on a second. Uh, Blame Carrie. Yeah, our son's, uh, our, our son's doggy style and his girlfriend right now. Hang on, I gotta... <laughs> Walk him through it? Yeah, I gotta hose these two off. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I mean, Chris we are Rangella, delivering. killing it as always. Yeah. Just every time I, I feel think like we... you're never going to make me laugh again, <laughs> you come into the Juicy Scoop had delivering and delivering time after time, like a treat. I didn't even know that was one I of was our worthy of. I know. <laughs> so thankfully, that I just watched and just like that last night, so it's fresh in my mind. Ah. Uh. Chris, where can everyone, besides listening to your hit podcast, Cover to Cover? Cover to Cover, listen to that. Where can they see you? Uh, you can see me at a bunch of different places. I'm coming to Tacoma Comedy Club, Valentine's Day, Tacoma, Washington. Yes. I'm coming to uh, Naples, Florida, Off the Hook Comedy Club. Remember years Beautiful ago? Beautiful We location. did it. Naples, coming there in, uh, I think, February, March. And then uh, in Dallas, hyenas in Dallas in February. Beautiful. All these places. Frangiola.com will have all the information you need yes. if I decide to up- update it. Well, if you decide to update it, I yeah. hope that you do. Uh, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, Steve? 
JDS, I realized I was just really horny. She's actually not funny. No, she's not. <laughs> so I'd like to give this another shot. All right. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll take it back, but this is going to be a tough one for me to overcome. What do you think will happen next season? Does well, Shay do, uh, see in it or this. does she go back? Do you because think there'll be of, another season? Have they have they mentioned anything about it? I think HBO, I think all these streaming services, uh, you at least are getting two seasons. Yeah, right. Especially with a, sh- a show like this. Uh-huh. 100%. This is the most talked about show. 100% we're getting another season. Okay. Yeah. I will die because I know they listen. They have... I will die if there is an episode where she is disillusioned as being the girlfriend. Oh, my thing just died. It's fine. Oh. The um, disillusioned as the girlfriend, of the comedian. significant other of a comedian. Because oh, I have to tell you, throughout my years, happen. I mean, we've all had it happen. Yep. Peter used to come, you know, and then it would be like, I'll just come the one night. Yeah. Okay. Then. Literally. Every- and then I was like, why don't you just not come at all? Yeah. Let me just sleep. Let me not wake you up. Because that would piss me off too. Right. Like I would come home and, and he'd be like, Argh. I'd be like, and so then I'd be like, listen, if I'm performing and I come home and wake you up into the hotel room, like, shut the fuck up. I'm turning on every light. Yeah. And so, yeah, it doesn't work to have your significant other with you. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember my wife coming one time. It was hot and- at first. Oh no! She went once. <laughs> it was it never. It was hot. New Year's Eve in Reno, Nevada, which was not. It was fine. But Why did you think that was a good idea to bring her? Because it was New Year's Eve, and she's like, "I'm gonna, I'll come and and uh, you know see what it's all about." And I remember like they had cold pizza in the back, and and I she was sitting in the crowd watching, and I in between shows I brought her the cold pizza. She's like, "I just thought it would be, I don't know, I thought it'd be different." And I'm like, "No, this is it." This I is- hope that she is a secret consultant. Yeah. On just like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Oh, please. But I mean, I think every comedian has that story of a significant other. I actually, thinking it's going to be a little more, you know, hot, romanticized. Even you yeah. who play like high level clubs and you have a, a bigger, like even yeah. that is still, you You know, you just happen in New York. You walk to the club by yourself. <laughs> they don't know who you are. <laughs> you got to show your ID at the door. I mean, it's, that's what the reality of it. I mean, comedy is the bottom of the barrel of the arts. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it gets much lower. And I think that we're an odd bunch of people. Yeah. I was telling my sister, and she goes, I think comics are odd. I agree. What kind of person would want to do this? I know. (laughs) I know. (laughs) And here we are, still going. (laughs) Chris, I don't even know if I should announce, but Uh you are coming with me. To oh, yeah. the Brea. 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 Um, for the 27th is a live Juicy Scoop. Yeah. I don't know if you're free to do the other dates. I don't, but we'll sure. check. I'm free, we'll I'll check. drive down. But you're definitely coming Sunday the 27th, Yeah, which is going to be the live Juicy Scoop. And let me just tell you something. It's going to be the Super Bowl of Juicy Scoops. Okay, I know. Because I have, a, besides you, okay. who is the quarterback of the team. Well, can I just say this? Let's, I've got other people coming, but too. I need to know yes. who they're going to be because... Then it becomes everybody fucking talking over everybody. No, I'm going to need... do exciting segments oh. with all of my favorites. Okay, that's So good. that you get to shine, and then we maybe we do something fun together. But it's not going to be, no, it's going to be like, just, I have a lot of special things planned because you know I rarely do a live Juicy Scoop. Kelowna? Yes, Kelowna said she's coming. I'm going to make sure. Okay. But I'm just... Martindale? Just let's right. get the people to buy the tickets. Okay. They will be pleasantly surprised well, always. Buy the tickets now. If you buy the this. tickets now because yeah. it's only one show and it's the only juice, live Juicy Scoop I have planned. Are you doing a Q&A where the drunks get up and start? Just shut rambling? up. I have stuff planned. Okay. It's going to be better. Exciting. It's going to be better than any other live Juicy Scoop that anybody else has ever gone to. I love it. That, now, okay. how can you not buy tickets with that? I don't know I, how you can't, but I'm telling you, you'll be like, I, you know. Can I just say one more thing before we? Of course. I, we talked about it a little before we went to air. Uh, the Super Bowl is here oh, in Los yes. Angeles. Oh yes, let's talk about. It. I didn't even know it was yeah, in LA. In a, a few weeks. When is it? It's uh, February thirteenth, uh, the day before Valentine's Day, Sunday, February thirteenth. Yes. SoFi Stadium here in Los yes. Angeles. Yes. So you know, leading up to that, there's going to be hundreds of big time celebrity parties because the Super Bowl hasn't been in LA in a long time. So this is going to be a 
uh, like at the Oscars of right. For, but for, it's gonna be you're going to have to be triple vaxxed. Whatever the case. I just may saw be. something about a fourth booster coming. A I fourth that shot. Too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess if you got your booster six months ago, you need to get the fourth. But sure. I just am freshly boosted. Okay. And I got a flu shot on top of it. Oh. So if anyone would like to invite me to their fabulous party. That's what I'm saying. Look, but if you get invited, I know I'm third, I'm way down on the list because you got some other Bravo people who you invite over me. No, I think But I, I would like... like to go to a Super Bowl type, some sort of party. I listen. Yes. Especially not the actual I, listen, I also want to be invited to the actual day one. Right. But what we're all what you and I are looking for is the night before at a freaking cool spot, right. VIP situation, exactly. hang out. Um, I'm guessing that we will hear nothing. Well, I, Because I'm... I put it out there for the Sundance. Well, okay? You put it out there now? Did no, you put, put out Super Bowl? I'm putting out Super Bowl now, but I put it out for Sundance. And leading up to Sundance, before it was canceled, I was a little bit like... Mm, nothing? Absolutely nothing. What about products, though? Like... Super Bowl is even bigger than Sundance. Though. I got nothing. And I was like, so then when they canceled it or made it online, I was like, okay. I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah. So now I'm just going with the boys and Peter, and we're just going to ski like we did last year. I had a couple reservations for cute dinners. Right. That's it. Like, nobody cares to do anything with me. Okay. So, f- but LA, I'm telling you, you could have Chris and I both. Right. And I'm saying if you're like a Kettle One, or well, Kettle One's having a party yes! at this place. Show up. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, anything. Have us running up and down the red carpet. A hundred percent. I'm completely down. We are secreting it. Okay, please. We're manifesting it. Just keep dreaming. Yeah. We're ready to change our life. Thank what, you. Who is playing? Well, no, you don't know yet. Oh. The playoffs are – it's the playoffs right what now. What color schemes of the top teams are we working? Well, you got to dress in the outfit, right? Yeah, I believe kind it's of. probably going to be the same as last year. It'll be the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's, That's blue just and red. prediction. Wait, no. Chiefs is what? Chiefs is like uh, – they are red and white. Okay, and then Chiefs. what's the other team? Uh, that Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, Tom Brady. And that's orange, right? Gold and red. Like a gold. God, I don't know. Anything. Yeah, like a gold and red. Gold but there is an orange. Red. Cincinnati Bengals are involved. Are they they're close? orange. They could make it. Yeah, they're still really involved. Want orange. What about uh, what about yellow and green? Uh, green Bay Packers. That's they're still involved. Okay. Even when Sarah's husband was like in it, I was like not into the colors. He didn't like the color scheme of the Seahawks. It was a little difficult to work around. Okay. Yeah. All right. But Fair I listen. Well, and then okay. And then let's let's get. Why don't we also say if you want to invite us, maybe Oscars. I'm, who cares about the Oscars? Oh, I don't know. No, I'm talking about more football stuff. Oh, so go just ahead. yeah, let us know, and and maybe Sarah. Yeah, I feel like Sarah will have a hookup and not call either one of us. That could be. But well, I'm I putting feel like- it out there now. I'm making. I'm going to make her listen to this, and I'm going to say, listen. Like we want in on whatever. I also fun want comes you. I'm going to let you off the hook right now because I know you'll probably get a hookup and you'll invite Chaz Dean or some shit, or and, Che Diaz, <laughs> or Che Diaz. And that's. I want you to know that you could put that on Instagram stories, and I won't be offended. That I well, yeah. If yeah. you could decide you do get invited to some Kettle One Super Bowl party and you invite Jeff Lewis instead of me, that's fine. I got that. It's not going to. I'm not going to be the least bit offended. Are you, I'm letting you off the hook no. now. Do you think that the juicy scoopers I don't, would not abs- – they would treat me like I was Jamie Lynn Spears. If right. I fucking do that, if I go to a party and bring a Josh Flagg or Jeff Lewis over you, right. they will nail me to the cross. Well, so you're in because you've made this statement here. The only person that would take your place okay. is my actual husband. Yeah, and that's fine. But – but I'm even letting. There's a good chance he would be like, "I'm fine if you, you know, I don't need to go." Like even unless, the, unless it's the actual game, I don't think he cares to go to the Kettle One Bar Party. Okay. okay. Well, even the Mexico trip, we went to Mexico with Josh Flag and, and yeah. Dr. Drew and everybody. You had told me that you're invited unless somebody bigger. I never said that, yeah, Chris. Well, and not oh, so many wait, words. I did. Yes, I did. You did. I did. You said no, you could the, be out no, because the person. You said, <laughs> You said, just be ready to get the call. But if Jeff Lewis says yes, you're out. And I was perfectly fine with that. I understand my lot in life. 
Okay, that is because. No, I listen. I, I want to I'm explain. Not, okay. We got a deal on that house. I, that, and, and I they, totally and understood Peter that. Peter was like pitching all the people. Right. And, you know, certain names, whoever the person we we're talking to, got were it. more excited about. I, and, listen, you know. I know. So if they. And like Sarah did, you know, have not only herself, but then she Super has Bowl. the Super Bowl yeah. husband. So, um, but that's awful that I even did that at all. That's no, it's not. Yeah, I yes, get it. Is. it. <laughs> now, listen. Even if the Super Bowl, they say, listen, our red carpet would look better if it's Heather McDonald and Josh Flagg than Heather McDonald and Chris Vangelo. I understand. I it. listen. I am going to. You're going to make a plus one. Yeah. And then, if the person seems cool, or if they say, "Do you know Josh and Bobby, or do you know uh, Jeff Lewis, or do you know Lala, or whatever?" Then I'll be like, "Yes, I'm going to. I can get those people there." Uh, but. Chris Frangiola has to be yeah. my plus one. All right. Well, I mean, I feel they'll be disappointed, but I do know about football. I don't know if Josh Flagg knows much about football. No, I don't know. Well, yeah. yeah. And all I right. do need, yeah. Well, listen, I'm all about it. I'm all about, and please, these are my bucket list things. I never, when was that time the Super Bowl was here? A like long ne- time. I always feel like it's like in Florida or something. Yeah, it is. I, I more- thought that was just always in Florida. No, I think that. How did we get it here? How did our shit city get it? Because we have a new stadium. Oh, and they want it look, you know, look fancy and nice and new. Oh my god! Yeah. So the last time I was here was nineteen ninety three. See, nineteen ninety three is the last been. time I was. Here. Oh my god! We better get on this now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All we right. Put it out there. That's Thank it. Thank you. Love Thank you. you. Bye.